these are the instructions to my Decagon Easter basket. So this is the base of the basket itself. And the center part is the Decagon. So I'm just going to fold on all the score lines for that center shape. Next, you're going to want to fold down on the score line that's on the side of each trapeze all the way around and on the triangle that's on the edge of the lower trapeze. So what I normally do is take my Cricut scraper tool and just put it along the score line. I'm folding down on the score line that's at the top of that trapeze and the score line that's at the side. And I'm going to do that for all 10 of these. So now that I've folded down on everything, it's already starting to take shape, sort of. So next I'm gonna put glue in every single one of those triangles. And I'm gonna bring that triangle up to the neighboring trapeze shape. I wanna make sure that the edge of my shape is against the score line of my tab. And I'm just going to be doing that for all 10 of those triangles. So I've just placed my cardstock inside the 3D embossing folder. I've created my sandwich that works well with the 3D embossing folder. And I'm just going to crank it through my embossing machine like so. When you remove the pieces, they have that nice dimension and that texture to them. I have three sizes of these trapeze shapes, which I've embossed. So the largest size is going to be for the top layer. So I'll take this away from now. And I'm left with the two other sizes. The smallest size goes on the bottom. The next size up goes on the second layer. Since they're trapeze shaped, they're narrower at the top than they are at the bottom. And that's how I'm going to position them on my basket. And I'm gonna glue all 10 of them all the way around, centered between the score lines like so. So now we're gonna work on the next level up. So there's these trapeze shaped tabs on the right hand side for all these. And what you want to do is bring them to the inside like so. You just choose one randomly and put glue on it. Again, glue it to its neighboring panel like so. And you're gonna do that all the way around with all 10 of those tabs. So now that I've glued down all those tabs, I'm just going to take my decorative pieces Making sure that I have the widest edge upwards, I'm going to glue those in place all the way around. So next we're gonna move on to the upper layer of the basket. I've got two pieces that are identical. And I'm just going to show you how to fold them. You wanna fold down on the score lines at the bottom, at the top, and then all the score lines in between. So the longer tabs, are actually going to be folded to the outside of my basket. The smaller tabs are going to be glued inside the basket like so. So I'm just going to put glue on that first tab. I'm going to take my basket. So I'm just gluing it down, making sure that my score line is just at the top of my cut piece like that. My tab is hidden on the inside of my basket. Quite a bit easier if you do it from the inside. So you just fold your tab down, put glue on it, and fold it down. And then just double check that you're just along that score line. And you're just going to do that for the three remaining tabs. Okay, so now I've got the tab at the end and I have my second piece. So this one's gonna fit on the other half of my basket. But first I'm going to join them at that one tab. So I'm going to put glue on top of the tab that's at the end, making sure that the thin tabs are at the bottom and the thick tabs are at the top. And I'm just going to join my two pieces, making sure that the score line at the top and the score line at the bottom match up. And so we're going to proceed as we did for the other half. So now I'm on the last one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily fold that last piece back, and I'm going to put glue on the tab that's at the bottom and the tab that's at the side here. I'm going to flip it around so that I'm looking at the outside, and then just glue that final piece into place. I'm going to take my largest decorative pieces. So now I'm just decorating that row that I just assembled. 
So I've put blue on the back of my decorative piece. I'm making sure that the widest side is towards the top of my basket, trying to center it as best I can within the score lines. And I'm going to do that for all the way around my basket. For the decorative pieces on the top of my basket, I decided to do a fold and tuck motif, or as it's called a braided fold motif on the handle and on the edges of the basket. This is what the pieces look like and it's best if you start from the bottom and just fold each triangle down like so and then you just want to sort of pop it underneath the lower triangle. So the tip of the triangle that you're folding downwards tucks underneath or folds underneath the triangle that is pointing upwards. So I'm just going to fold down like so, and then I'm gonna lift this up a little bit just to poke it underneath. And I have 10 pieces for the trim like this and two pieces for the handle. Now that I've folded all my fold and tuck pieces, I have their backing layer. I'm just going to glue them all to their backing layer. So I have the two pieces for the handles and all the other pieces are identical and these are for the edge of the basket. I'm just gonna cover the cardstock with glue and then glue it down as centered as possible on that base layer. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on that one triangle and fold it down. So I'm just taking my bone folder. You could use a ruler or anything with a nice clean straight edge. I'm just sort of curling my handle just a little bit. I'm going to do that with both sides. There are these two little slits across from one another. My green part is pointing upwards, so that's going to be the top. I'm going to insert the bottom in that slit, and I'm just going to put glue on the underside of that tab, make sure my handle is nice and straight, and hold that down like so. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. My green one is pointing upwards, so I'm just going to put glue, so just this first tab, and I'm going to grab my little box, position it so that it's right up to the edge right here, and then it's flush on both sides. And now I'm going to adhere the other side of my tab. So I'm just putting glue, adhering it like so. I've got my two strips for the border here. With these strips, you just want to fold down on the top and then fold down on all the score lines. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that tab. I'm just going to glue the ends together so that it makes one continuous strip. I'm starting with the end that has no tab on the end and I'm just putting it in place where the handle will be. Now I want it to overlap by about a quarter of an inch. So just a little tiny bit up here. I'm not gonna glue it down. What I'm going to do is move to the second one. And I'm just going to put glue around the top here. And I'm making sure that those score lines between the two pieces are lining up perfectly. And then it's overlapping, as you can see, by about a quarter of an inch. So then move on to the next panel. And I'm just going to put glue along the top here and position my, my next piece the same way. And I'm going to do this all the way around. So now I'm on the last flap. I'm just going to put glue along that handle piece and glue along the tab. Put my piece in position. Now I'm going to grab my decorative pieces. I'm going to start at one handle and just work my way around. And I'm going to position them so that, you see there's a little corner that overlaps? I'm going to always put that on the right hand side as I go around, as I glue them to the perimeter. So next we're going to work on our bow. Now I've created an offset layer so that I could make my bow two colors. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my pink layer to my green. I'm going to curl my bow with my bone folder. And then I'm going to wrap a piece around my Cricut tool like so because I don't want it to fold I want it to have a curve and I'm going to put some glue on the back center here and fold my center around and secure it at the back like so
I'm going to do that with the other side as well. I'm going to put two layers of foam tape on the back of my bow and then I'm placing my bow so that it's centered on top of the ribbon layer. And then I have my little rectangle that goes in the center. I'm just going to fold that over. I'm going to put some foam tape at the back. I'm just going to glue my bow down at the center like that. I have my decagon piece that fits on the base of my basket. So I'm just going to put glue on it and adhere it to the bottom of my basket. For all intents and purposes, I would be finished, but I've decided that I don't like the way the interior of the basket looks. So I cut these extra pieces. So I'm going to glue them down, making sure to center them between the fold lines of my sides. Here's my basket.